Hi, hi, Gemini. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Lorian at Tomes and Tarot. Oh, and I'm using the Enchanted Tarot deck for your reading for October 2018. So this is for general reading for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. I'd encourage you to have a look at the others just in case there's something else that resonates with a different area of your life. Um, yeah, having a look and see what's coming through for you guys. If you do want a more specific reading with answers to your questions, just let me know. You can reach me at the website link in the description box. And I've been doing readings all day, so if you hear my throat going a little bit croaky, that's why. I do love them, but my voice does not. So... <laughs> Let's just see what's coming through for you in October. I think I want to do another one. Okay. All right. Let's see. Princess of Wands. The Fool. Hmm. The Star. Judgment. Ace of Wands. The World. And then you have the Five of Wands. Okay. Now this is interesting because in the last few readings I've done, I haven't done them all for YouTube general readings. I've done them a lot for um, personal and private readings um, and stuff like that. Like I say, you can get one from the link below. And there has not been any major arcanas <laughs> like for about five readings or so no major arcanas have come up and you've got your lion's share well i'm gemini moon too so you know that could be something that i need to look at but i'm more focused on you guys and what your energies are coming through with so you have a lot of wand energy that's for sure but also a lot of major changes coming in the princess of wands is very very strong um because she starts off basically and also just judgment now <laughs> there could be something coming through here which is a rebirth and an inner calling and something that you've been intending to do for quite some time um and i do think that this is the right moment to do it it could be that you know of a princess of wands, which would be an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius person. But ultimately, this is very much about enthusiastic discovery of um, pursuing something and like, oh, OK, this is something new and a new change. So this absolution, this, you know, standing up for yourself, wanting to have this change, wanting to have this difference in your life. You're actually calling out for help. You're actually getting the help you need, either or. But there's something that's changing now, maybe in your persona, that you're actually able to say, oh, okay, I'm jumping on this. I'm really, really jumping on this. Because this could be your biggest move yet. This could be your awareness changing. This could be something that's coming through for you that you've wanted for quite some time. And I do feel like this is almost saying to you, heads up heads up because you've got something coming incoming and you've got maybe a letter coming in which is good news it could also be invitations to travel it could also be something that you think right yes this is my moment I've got this opportunity coming in here and I really do need to be able to stand up to this and accept it because you need that assurance I think a lot of the time that comes forwards and you feel like okay so this is something that I need to do this is something that I need to believe in myself for. And, you know, it could be something that's coming out of you. Similarly, I have to say it because it's weighing on my mind. It may be that you are going to be revealed um, if you've been doing something naughty. That's all I'm going to say. So if you've been doing something naughty that you shouldn't have, it may, it may be revealed. Now, whatever naughty you think of, if you have been doing something that you feel guilt over, this, I think, could be revealed. Not saying it's for everybody, because it's only a small percentage, but it could come through. Then you have the fool, so you've got definitely going on a new journey here. This is the beginning of something new. You've had faith in yourself, you've had faith in your journey, and you're on your way now. And it's helpful with the Ace of Wands. So maybe somebody who believes in you, somebody who's an inspiration, who can create the best form for you. This is kind of coming through to say, look, you got it. You're moving on. You're having this. Embrace it. You know, the embrace this inspiration. And this, the fool here, comes forward with a very strong sense of preparation. This very good self-confidence. Um, other people may not really understand what this means for you. Um, they may be kind of like, 
what are you doing? You just gave up a job or you just gave up, um, I don't know, an opportunity to turn around and do something else or stay at home or go forwards or you got a job when you had it cushy. You know what I mean? So it could be people going, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you taking on this one person and singing yourself forwards? But the reason is, is because you wanted this change. You've asked for this change and you're going with it. And I think this is the creation and inspiration you needed in order to take it. It's like, oh, thank God. It's relief to me. It's, um, it's a feeling of just, oh, thank God for this change, you know, and it could be the generosity of others that allows you to change. And it could be like a breath, you know, but you have the star and then you have the world, which is incredible as well. So this is mostly about, um, I think it's about your inspiration and your serenity and your hope for the future. And the world is very much about your accomplishment. It's almost like you can see the world in a different light now. And it could even be that you feel it's very heavy. You could feel that there's something that, um, you know, you want it for a while, but now you've got it. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to really have to work to keep this and earn it. And, you know, but the thing is, the universe says that he's got your back. You know, it says that, you know, we are here to help. Just ask it, manifest it, do what you feel is right, and we will be with you. And I don't think that there's anything that you need to really manipulate in this situation. There's nothing that you need to, you know, you know, cut anybody else out of the picture. This is, to be honest, one of the most positive readings I have seen um, in quite a long time. And the only thing is, you do have the five of wands. So your opportunity may inspire some jealousy, it may inspire some fights, um, there may be some disagreements or some strife as to how you're planning on doing things. It may be at work when you hand your notice in, it may be somewhere else when you say, look, I'm not doing this anymore, and standing up for yourself. It may be a group thinking that because you're changing, you don't belong there anymore. Um, but to be honest, I think the path that you're taking is much better. It could also be your family having an argument and wanting to drag you into the drama. So just ignore that if you can and just kind of put that to one side because even underneath here, you've got so many, so many major arcanas that I just can't count them really. Um, you're definitely on a path forwards, not backwards. You're definitely getting something that you wanted for a while, but it's going to be hard work and I think you need to commit to that. You know, you may think, oh, crikey, what have I just taken on? You know, can I live up to this? Can I evolve into this? And the answer is yes. If you put your, um, if you put your mind to it, if you put your spin on it, basically. All right, let me just start by shuffling these angel cards and seeing what's coming up for you. What does Gemini need to know for the month of October? Ooh, they're being very, very bright today. So what does Gemini need to know for the month of October? What? Whoa. <laughs> what was I just saying? All right. Let's see. So, well, you three definitely wanted to come through. All right. And then we have leadership. Just going to read this quickly. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and passion, or position, sorry, and lovingly guide others. Okay. And then we had clear sentience. Notice your occurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. You can't do that if you're too clogged with other things. So it may be you making the decision to step aside from something that helps you, which is going to take some courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So you've got four different angels here, and I feel like they're all kind of in the same hue of communication, intuition, and also your gut feeling, because there's a lot of purples blues and yellows in this reading for you so I think the best thing to do is to communicate your gut feeling and follow your intuition um because to be honest you can be a leader and you can be an example for people so when they feel like 
you know, something's not right, they actually stand up for themselves too. Or they actually act as well too. Um, but you have a God-given gift. You have a power here that you can use to manifest blessings. You can't do that if you're focused on issues around you. Um, and you can't listen to people and listen to that guidance or your gut feeling. You might not be able to hear it if you're too focused on, um, oh, what am I going to do tomorrow? Oh, I'm so stressed. How can I do this? Oh, what my manager going to say? Oh, how can I do this? Take courage, please. And try and... It's going to be difficult, I know, but try and assert yourself and do what is best for you. You know in your heart of hearts what's best for you. It may be that you want to compromise, but I just don't think somebody else will. And it may be in your best interest just to take that step aside and say, you know what, I tried, but not for me. Sorry. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just you and being a different person to maybe what the situation is. But let me know in the comments below as to how things go for you this October. I'm fascinated to see how this goes. And as always, um, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the videos. It really does mean the world to me. If you do want a private reading, the link is in the description box below. But of all, all things, I really look forward to seeing what November brings. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye.